This video shows a really simple way to post-process M31, the Andromeda Galaxy, using Affinity Photo. All I'm going to do here, I have dragged in the TIFF file from the Vespera telescope of the Andromeda Galaxy that was captured from the Grand Canyon in Arizona, South Realm, at about a portal 1.5 location. I did about 3.5 hours of integration time back in November of 2022. So all I'm going to do is click on this little button here for Tone Mapping Persona. And that will let the program itself try to optimize the data and come up with what it thinks all the levels should be. Of course, it doesn't really know anything about astrophotography, so it's not going to do a very good job. But there are some sliders and things I can adjust to make it work. So we just need a few more seconds here for this step to be done. Okay, here we are. So the first thing you notice is the core is really blown out. But we have this little exposure slider. We can move that over to make the core not blown out. There's this local contrast slider here. And this will improve the extended part of the galaxy. So, um, so that brought out everything here. It still looks a little bit washed out. So there is this. Um, if you go down farther, there's some other sliders in this enhance section where I can bump up the contrast. And that will make the background darker, the stars tighter, and um, it will start to remove some of the extended um, fuzzy parts out here. So if you by make some good choices about how much you remove, you can keep that controlled. And I could bump up the saturation some to bring out some of these colors and also the vibrance. And so just by making a few of these very simple edits, the image actually looks pretty good. So I want to say apply. And then once this finishes saving this version, I'm going to call this done and I will save Save my work. In the Affinity Photos um, proprietary format, if I want to come back and edit it further in the future. And then I will simply export my JPEG. And the last thing I will show is that JPEG full screen. Let me bring it over so you can see what this. So this was the result of only spending maybe two or three minutes working on the data with Affinity Photo, starting from the TIFF file. Now this workflow, doing this abbreviated number of steps really only works if you have very good data like I did since I traveled to a very dark location and went for 3.5 hours. Now to improve upon this, you could improve it. There's basically two things I could have done to make this even better. I could have done a longer integration time, maybe five or six hours. I was limited at the time I was there by the moon coming up. So I wanted to stop my capture before the moon uh, rose above the horizon. So I was limited by the time of month I was there. And of course, I could also use some more advanced techniques inside Affinity Photo, employ plugins and stuff to make it a little better. But if you start with really good data, 
you can actually get a pretty good image without a whole lot of work. So the big secret is just to travel to a dark site for these kind of images.